I am the shadow teacher. And though I am a full-blown introvert, that's no secret, one of my greatest values is human connection. And I can recall a time early in 2020 when the world shut down. There's a brief period of time before people were fully invested in their polarizing narratives. There's a brief moment where I remember I would reach out to friends I hadn't heard from in a long time, and they would reach out to me, and we would just let each other know these simple words. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm thankful for you. Whatever happens in this life, I'm so glad that I knew you. I'm so glad that we were able to connect with the time that we had. And that was a blessing because as times got more comfortable, that started to go away. And what I noticed was the world became more polarized and people who were family at one bit and were connected were starting to now distance themselves because of belief systems and attachments to narratives. Me too. I set boundaries because there are just some things I would find myself in conversations with people and we could no longer connect. People who were once my family and friends that I held dear in my heart, I still do hold dear in my heart. We were now focusing on what was different and not what we connected on. And I'm seeing this happen again and again and again. And this is one of the components. Focusing on the differences is one of the elements of Marxism, of breaking down a family, breaking down a society, because when we focus on all these differences and all these things that we can't agree on and can't get along and that becomes the forefront, then it's hard to, to hold any kind of glue and connection. So I've consciously been trying to look at the, the good in people who see the world differently than I do and find a point of connection. That is it's actually my job. Like when I'm coaching people, uh, I, I can successfully coach someone who has a very different belief system than I do because I've found that skill of tapping in to the one thing, maybe it just might be one little thing we can connect with and focusing on that in our time together. Now we'll say, when we're looking at our, our inner tribe, the people who we want close in our lives, we need people who, who do honor and respect our belief systems and who we can engage with on deep conversations, engage with on the deep issues and not fear judgment. I'm thankful for my, my best friend, Keith, that I've got a good man who's one of my best friends and I can say that about, we, we do that. My, my, my good friend, Chris, I'm thankful for him as well. Um, and thankful I have these people in my life that no matter what happens in the world, no matter what may, we may disagree on, there's always that place of love and reverence that we could always come back to that never will be lost. And I hope that you have people like that in your life still, because it's, it's important. But I believe for those that you don't, for people where it's harder to get along, focusing on something that you can connect with, focusing and seeing the humanity in a person is the key to creating a better world, creating something that is not fueled by hatred and polarization and victim-villain narratives, black and white narratives, we get closer to something that is guided by a truth, the truth. Not a relative truth, but a universal truth. That being said, my friends, be strong, be well, and I will see you on the other side.